try this. We can apparently what? Oh, no. have a Not bad like feeling about this. Already. What happens if I just walk oh, around with this? I feel like I'm more at a party now. What's up, everybody? Cheers, I got a beer. <laughs> you jealous? What's that hanging from that? What is that? MP3 player? Reach. Oh! 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 Are we good? Oh my god. If at first you don't succeed, throw a dildo at it. Obviously. Do we have to tell you everything? Okay, what did that say in the bottom right? I just fell down the stairs, but I didn't spill the beer. I mean, it's not open, so. What is happening in here? Open up my own self-defense studio. Are you mad? Are you mad I have a beer? What's up? You having a good time? You can thank Sensei Frank and I for that. All right, well, let's go see if Frank wants to beat my ass for having this beer. Hey, Frank. Thanks, thanks for letting me have this beer, dude. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? I'm completely sober, said the Good. guy with the beer. I'm straight <laughs> Slow. I can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. What is it feels happening? like my civic duty to beat the ever loving shit out of anybody I see with a drink. My contribution <laughs> helps make this world better. Frank, what are you doing? He's sucking the beer out of my hand with his mind. No. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. How did that get there? Frank, have you been drinking? You alcoholic, you. I'm gonna go drink some orange juice, bye. <laughs> Frank, Patrick, move. You can get your ass beat all you want. You're drunk. I'm fucking. I'm not looking to get my ass beat, alright? Oh, wow. Cool. That's how you grab things now. I like that. I like that. Apparently, I can also use this new thing on people. No? Maybe not. Maybe not on you. Maybe on you. No? Not on you either. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Like, can I lift you up or something? Come on, Brittany. Let me, you'll let me, right, Derek? Can I touch your butt? Apparently there's butt physics now. Let me see your butt jiggle, Derek. Come on. Twerk it. Twerk it, Derek. Let's see that butt jiggle. Oh, okay. Nope, nope, nope. It got too personal. I get you. I got you. Stop sniffing your, your ass like a dog. What happens if I right click? Ashley's top right click. You know what? This just doesn't work. You fucking asshole! Get the fuck away from me! What did I do? What did I do? Am I touching you right now or something? Like, I don't get it. Why did you get so mad? What happened? Whoa, what the hell are you doing? You think just because I'm the dancing chick and reek of substance abuse issues that you can put your grubby hands on me? Screw you! Oh, okay. So I am I am touching them, but they don't get mad at first, I guess. I don't know. Cuz I'm literally spamming it before they get mad at me. I'm not I'm not sure how that works, but before the whole party hates me, let's be very careful. Now, Patrick, if you guys noticed, had some new some very new dialogue, which there is more of in this game. It's it's not just Patrick dialogue. There's definitely more than Patrick dialogue, but this is maybe a hint. That Patrick has more to offer us than he usually does. How am I going to spear that MP3 player with a dildo? That's just ridiculous. Is there a specific reason you're helping that asshat? So what if his head's pounding? Patrick is bleached, blonde, garbage. And I'm worried you are too if you're helping him. Uh, I'm, look, how did you know? First of all, what am I walking around with the painkillers in my hand? Second of all... He could be the future Eminem. Didn't you hear my whole spiel earlier? Oh, I'm just trying to get his booze. That's all. <laughs> I like that. I wouldn't touch that bottle he's holding onto if you paid me. He's a parasite and his saliva is like alien blood melting through all that's pure and good in the world. Damn, what does he put on this website? The patrom... patromorph? 
Patty Mayo. And his mothership is that smut site, Neighborhood Watch. If all you're doing is trying to steal from the guy, I can respect that. Patrick's no good. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right, well, at least you don't hate me, and I can help him now, because you think I have ill intentions. It's good to know that you'll let me... You'll let me do whatever I want as long as I have ill intentions. What's up, dude? Here, is real here you low. go. You totally came through with the aspirin, brah. Thanks so much. But we're like bras for life now. Let me know if you need anything. I do. I do. I need to know what's new. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We've done the phone thing. So you invited a stranger from a bus stop to the party? <laughs> Did he? Eh, uh, nobody's really a stranger if you think about it. What? We're all just tits and dicks drinking and fucking our way into the Brosmic beyond. Plus, this guy just looked like a greasier version of Regis Philbin, and I really wanted people to think I was friends with the Reg. So how how are the nuns getting their way into the Brosmic beyond? How is that deep for any second? He said we're all tits and dits, dicks. That's all he sees in people. You're a dick. You're melons. Why? Why? Because what's cooler than showing up at a party with a celebrity? I have enough what? fame to my name that people would buy it too. They totally get that I know celebs. You were going to make up that he was a celebrity? You're really trying to get in on this conversation, huh? What do you... What do you mean? Why are you all... There's three, cou four couches here. What are you doing? All right, well, what's up with you and Rachel? Bro, I'll tell you the story. If you've got time to listen, it's a doozy. Oh, boy. Do we have time? Do we want to listen? All yeah, right, sure. get ready, bro. Can I sit down? Long ago, in the distant land of the San Bernardo Valley, there was but a boy, a bra in the making. Your line got cut off a little bit there. It's unfortunate. They give you, like, the least lines to start. They finally give you some lines, and they cut it off before you're even done. This baby bra had great potential, but his teachers would always make him feel bad because words with more than four letters in them played tricks on his brain and didn't make no sense. <laughs> he also liked to catch stuff on fire and steal porno mags from the gas station. For these reasons, that boy was labeled a problem child. Are you sure it was those reasons? Because I... Well, I guess, yeah, stealing porno... Um, at what age? Uh, is probably not a good idea, Patrick. Alright. Well, let's... I guess we'll start seeing where this goes. Problem child. But the young bra listened not. Oh, no. He never gave up. While other kids were off learning math and all about the constitution, this young bra was <laughs> learning all about the internet. Man, I wish my history classes were through your brain. The constitution and dictation. That's what I'm talking about. He started simple enough, searching for things that interested him. Tits.com, ass.com tits and ass.com and soon he was a master of stroking the keys along with something else <laughs> yikes patrick you are an open book aren't you and you're very one two-dimensional tits and ass that's all patrick cares about maybe the odd dick who knows the young bra, always on the hunt for the best tits and the best asses on the web, began to explore the new world of search engine broptimization. SE Bro was an unknown to many at the time, and in it, the young bra saw opportunity. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't know if I like where this is going, Patrick. <laughs> we really need to wrap this up, dot com. Duck, come on. <laughs> so what did the young bra do, you ask, dear friend? He built his own site and wielded S.E. Bro like a round-headed rooster in a Tijuana cockfight. And his site blew up. In no time at all, it became the number one site for sharing quality images on the web. As long as those quality images were of quality tits and ass, of course. 
I'm sorry, you did what with your round-headed rooster? I think they call them sword fighting where I'm from, but you can call it cock fighting. It's just a little bit more derogatory, I guess. Now this may surprise you, but the young bra in this tale, that was yours truly. I went from being called a problem child with one of the most severe learning disabilities ever documented to a proprietor of one of the biggest naughty file sharing sites ever. No longer a young bra, but a man bra. Can you believe it? Until the legal issues come up, yes, I, I guess I can believe it. Um, but clearly, it's working for you. You're surrounded by women talking about this, and they don't care. That's... who would have thought? So, what do you think? Pretty awesome rags to riches story, right? I... <laughs> Jizz rags to riches. Did you ever learn to, um, read and stuff like that? Goddamn right! Once I made enough dough, I bought Hooked on Bronix. And I don't mean that I just bought a copy. I bought the whole fucking company, brah. They're an online escort <laughs> company now. Hookers on Bronix. <laughs> So that's where they've been. I was wondering what happened to them. I remember they were they were a thing for a little bit, and they just kind of fell off the map. This makes sense. No longer marketed to kids. Ah, well, this site that I own, it's called NeighborhoodWatch.com. You ever heard of it? Let's say you haven't, even though I can see it in you, you dirty dog bra. Honestly, the only reason I've heard of it is today. And... You know, other todays that have happened in the past. Like I said, Neighborhood Watch is known globally for being the repo of the most smudtastic dick pics, ass snaps, upskirts, and everything in between. And when I say in between, of course, I mean pics of the gooch. One way we became the best was by letting users submit their own pics. Homemade shit, you get me? Of of their gooch, yes, I get, I get you. Not sure who's looking at gooches but you do you man make sure you know where that gooch came from right bra nw is a great wholesome site but sometimes users will go against my code of product you know angry dudes posting pics of their ex-girlfriends or bras posting evidence of a one-night stand with miss pensatrola county 2016 all this happens without the girl's permission and i'm not down with that not down with that, or not down with the le legal repercussions? And Rachel's on the site, I'm guessing. <laughs> if only I were so lucky, I could scrub that right off the site. I mean, they say the internet lasts forever, but my company is working on some tech right now that... Um, never mind. Nah, Rachel's just a good person, brah. She's standing up for women everywhere. Damn, when I say it like that, I think I'm the asshole. Oh, you think? <laughs> I mean, hey, you're trying to make some money. I guess if you do it within the law, who's going to stop you? That's what most of these YouTubers do. So what does she want from you, Patrick? She wants it shut down for good. Wipe the drive, shut down the servers, complete bronihilation. It isn't just her either. She's got an army of people behind her, and I'll be honest, it makes me sad. Because I love Neighborhood Watch. It's my baby. But I've got a plan. I don't like the way you said that with like a half, maybe full empty bottle of wine in your hand. Grease and some palms, brah. Winning her over with some of that sweet, sweet palm grease. The guy I met at the bus stop earlier told me that's how you win over anybody. My only problem is I have no fucking clue what that means. Will you help me? What does it mean to grease someone's palm? <laughs> it means give them a hand job. No, it means bribe them. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That phrase doesn't make any sense to me, but you seem like a smart bra. So I got a briber. All right, I got to play it safe, though, because that mean old guy with the black poncho and the wooden hammer said that if they ever catch me bribing people again, I'd be in big trouble. Oh, a little Kung Fu Fighting remix. I like it. Good job. Um, Old guy with the black poncho with a wooden hammer... I guess a metal hammer would probably hurt more, depending on if there's a nail driven into the wooden hammer. The point is, I forgot that bribe is five letters and you only handle four letter words. I'm sorry, Patrick. Do you mean a judge? 
Hey, I don't judge anybody, even if they are mean. But you know, that old guy didn't say anything about winning people over with kindness. It ain't a bribe if there's no dough involved, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. So that's how we bribe her. Not with cash, but by making this the best night of her life. I can just see it on Rachel's face. She's not having a good time. So we fix that. And after we take care of all her party needs and she's in party heaven, we reveal that it was her good pal Patrick that made it all happen. You hear those crickets, Patrick? That's how good your plan is. They are giving you a round of applause. Or they're maybe doing something else that makes a similar noise. Ye of so little faith, brah. Of course it's gonna work. She'll have no choice but to call off the dogs after this. She'll love Patrick and the sight too. But she doesn't love me yet. In fact, I can't even get near to her without her turning tail and running away. So I'm guessing you want me to do it. But she doesn't have a problem with you. Mm -hmm. Which is why you're gonna be my bra operative on the ground. You're going to find out what could make Rachel's night even better and then tell me so I can make it happen. Like some kind of awesome genie in a brothel. And for your actions, believe me when I say you will be generously rewarded. Sound good? Well, can we talk about this reward a little bit more? Because this meant to give me that little boost of motivation that I really need. Hell yeah! I'll be around trying to play the part of an awesome party guest. Won't be a hard cover for me. <laughs> Come find me when you've got some intel. The Brodacy. Politely listened to all of Patrick's epic backstory. It was it was it was pretty epic. Is this Rachel right here? Alright, Rachel, let's have a talk. Look, I'm sitting in the hot tub with you. Oh, oh damn it, I can't sit in the hot tub. I'm just gonna kinda You know what here? Remove shirt, remove shoes, remove pants, don't remove anything else. Now we can sit. There we go, all right? Now we're hanging out in the tub. How's it going? Oh, hey, listen, I hope I didn't come off as a total bitch earlier. I need to remember this is my friend's party, not a rally. I'd get you a beer to say sorry, but if you've met Frank, well, you know that's not going to happen. Well, I know where some beers are, so if you want to have a beer in the hot tub, I hear the hot tub gets you a little extra bubbly, if you know what I mean like a bitch, but a fight would really liven things up around here. Do you have the time? I have to make a call to my brother. Did you His miss? time is very restricted. It's fine. You know what? I'm going to just leave this I way. There's too many of you. Aliens, Let me out of this tub. Let me out of here. Not not help. 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 Some guy just runs through the party screaming help in his underwear. Just trying to get away from some people. Hey, I'm in my underwear. How's it going? What's going on? Good to see you again. Never mind. I'm going to talk to Frank about you. Frank, what have you done to this poor woman? You brainwash her? I see you still got your beer. You're really nursing that thing. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Well, this is a problem. Okay, never mind. I can pick this up and walk away from mingle. Frank. It's only a matter of time until I stub my no longer a problem. Take. Um, there's another natty light in here somewhere, I think. Oh, this is the one that I took. Right. All right, let's see if we can get the thermos back and, and maybe progress on Rachel's story a little bit. You seem bored. Hey What's again. up? Are you lost? Showing me your chest isn't going to make me like you again. You're just a dad bod waiting to happen anyway. Get lost. What? I'm just standing here in the washroom and you just come over here to berate... <laughs> Put me in the shower. I need to cry. <laughs> oh, she said I had a dad bot. I gotta remember to still get my reps tonight. I wonder if there's anything I could use as a punching bag around here. There is that blonde guy. Wait, Patrick? Eminem? The things you hear in the washroom. I'm stuck. Wait, what? We look better in Alpha? Did she just say that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Some of them. Alright, now we got our clothes back on. People won't just get randomly angry at us and insult us. 
That's nice. I don't really know what to do for old Rachel here. She's just a grout. Oh, that's... Yes, I remember seeing this in the past. Oh, I should have I should have right clicked it and seen <laughs> I could just oh, walk around with it. it. That would have been I funny. So. But now we know what this is for. Yeah, really Throw the dildo. Right <laughs> dildo chew. What the hell? It's super effecty. Oh my god, this isn't Pokemon, my dude. Let's uh we'll take this and then we'll right click on this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Look what I've got. Look what I've got, Frank. No, no, that's no, that's weird. I don't want to do that. Do you see what's in my hand? Get away from me! Or I'm calling the police. What? Okay, I guess I guess a guy walking up with a dildo is weird. Did I put the dildo away? I'll dance anywhere, inside, outside, doesn't matter. I lost the dildo. Ugh, I don't know how a dress can manage to be so tight and still hanging it. on by one simple knot. Ah! I lost it. Did it go back? Oh god, we broke the game. We potentially broke the game. I no longer have the dildo. Where did it go? Where did it go? There's not a single girl that wouldn't trade tits with her. Oh, it's over here somehow. Frank. You cheeky little... I don't know how you got a hell of that. But you're a cheeky little bastard. DVD. Word is they just took the 2001 version and added more realistic sex. Okay, that's that's... That's weird. We're not taking this because that will get me in trouble. Media dock, TV remote. Nope, nope we're not going to take that either because that might also get me in trouble. Um, inspect. Cool, looks like one of those docks that'll cast music. Oh, there is new music. Oh, that's what the MP3 is for. Duh. Forgot they added music. Oh. 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 Even the TV cares. Can I pick one? Oh, what? It's a touch screen. Whippets. Stephanie will be happy about this. Let's play this track. There you go, Stephanie. I know I took off your favorite song, but uh, you got a new song now. Are you kind of okay with it? You seem okay with it. Get away from me or I'm calling the police. You look like you're having fun. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. I'll see what I can do. Well, I get kind of crazy on whippets. If you like my dance moves now, you haven't seen anything yet. What do you think of Patrick? Ugh, he like creeps me out. He's always so drunk and he always stares at my tits when I'm dancing. But you're okay when other people do? Because like I've literally heard you say you... Okay, you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite, alright? Let's take this. Alright. Patrick, where are you at? American water holder he found in our backyard on the Do you like this, Rachel? Like hey, how's it going? Do you like the music? Let's see, does it jiggle? We're looking for jiggle here, people. This is for science. Does anyone notice jiggle? Maybe we can, like, slow-mo this a little bit. Yeah, I hid the whipped cream as best I could, and by best I could... Jesus. She scared the living shit out of me. Patrick, what's up? If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how good's our plan? That's the first time you've messed up a bra saying. I think we need to cut you off from the alcohol. I think we need to cut me off from the alcohol. I got the hiccups and I'm not even drinking. Um, why is your site called Neighborhood Watch? Because I couldn't call it postyourtittypicshere.com. I just wanted a site that would fly under the radar of the uninitiated. So I made it sound like a community safety website. But the next thing you know, people were actually watching their neighbors and then posting pics of them changing and shit. I'll admit, I screwed up there. Yeah, you kind of encouraged that. Um, but it is clever. But then when you think about it, some, like, kind little, like man who's trying to right his wrongs fresh out of prison trying to join neighborhood watch and bring some positivity to his community stumbles across your site falls into a spiral of masturbation and the next thing you know he's back in jail smoking crack or smoking crack and then he's back in jail <sighs> all right well i guess we'll go get her her damn thermos because doing the music didn't help nothing i thought it would make this party cooler but i failed do i have enough natty lights yet here who's been opening these i didn't open these 
Someone else is looking for booze too, it's not just me. Wait a minute, you couldn't open this before, could you? Interesting, interesting. Another one. I swear you couldn't open these before. The fuck is the other beer? I don't know, I'm that weirdo going in people's closets, but I'm trying to find the beer for Frank. What is that? Okay, that's another dildo. This house is full of them. Oh, there's one right here. Yes. You see nothing, Frank? I'm doing this for you, buddy. Don't don't bust me now. Shit, another one? And also, don't bust my face, please. So how about let me smell that thermos now, Frankie You've boy? You've proven yourself to me, dude. I trust you to make the right decision. Go ahead. Take a whiff. If there's no alcohol in there, you can give her a thermos back. That's what I'm talking about. Open it up. Where is it? Where's the thermos? Oh, the, the, the options. Ah, here's the thermos. Um, in spec? Oh, smell. Mmm. Smells like water. <laughs> oh, shit. She's got fucking moonshine in there. Guess I'll just be... Hey, asshole. I see you with that, booze. You're dead. I... No, 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 I forgot I was supposed to come talk to you, Frank. We can talk this out, man. We can talk this out, Frank. Frank. Frank, I'll touch your butt. Frank, I'll touch your butt. I'll touch your wiener. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>